In this video, we're gonna dive into exactly how to move your left leg in the downswing with irons and driver. Because this is a move that is really glossed over by a lot of golfers and it will one, increase your power that you're producing into the shot and it will help you turn through the golf ball and driver, it will help you hit up on it. So a huge thing that it will really help us with so many areas and you need to get it into your golf swing. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So this is called left side extension, or you could even think of it as your left leg straightening. So you might see a lot of players out there, especially top players in the world, straightening their left leg as they're coming into the golf ball. Has huge benefits like we said in the intro, but you need to do it differently from irons and driver. So let's get into irons and how it's gonna really help you. So iron shots with straightening the left leg. This is really gonna help you with having a last little bit of rotation, getting that club to fling round and exit left round your body. And it's gonna help you produce a little bit more power through your shots as well. So a really important one. So when do we do this with irons? So we all know that this move does need to happen, but we need to know exactly when. So with irons, the best time to start doing this move is from in between shaft parallel to the ground and impact. So really in between these two areas here is when we want to start straightening up that left side going into the golf ball. Now, that's when we want to do it, but what is it doing when we're doing that? So I hear a lot of players talking about dropping the right side down coming into impact. Really trying to do this move quite a lot. I've seen a lot of videos advocating for dropping the right side down. Now that's a video, I'll put a card up here, which could be very detrimental, but that move happens, we need it to happen in the downswing, but once it's happened quite late. And that happens as a result of the left leg straightening and left side extending. So when that left leg extends, coming into impact, like we said, from shaft parallel to the ground into impact there, that elongates, of course, the left hand side. So when that left hand side elongates, that's actually gonna start to drop down the right hand side. The right left hand side elongates, the right side shortens. So that's why that trail side dropping happens. Losing your tilt, right side bending happens in there. When you extend your left side, you will start to right side bend in order to still hit the golf ball. So doing that at the right time, that is gonna help you continue to rotate through that golf ball. It's really gonna help with flinging that club around you because, yep, like we said, that's gonna start to right side bend and that's gonna get you in this nice bent arm position, like the skip and the stone type of move. It's gonna keep you turning through the golf ball. But how that is also keeping you turning through the golf ball is because when we extend that left side, left leg straightens, the left shoulder also raises up, it goes up and it goes around. So it goes up and around with that left shoulder. So it is a rotational move as well. So this is where when players, for example, try to drop the right hand side early and they buy as a byproduct, we'll get that left shoulder going up. When that happens too early, that actually stops your rotation and makes you flip through the golf ball. So that's why we don't want that move to happen early because it will stall out rotation quite a little bit. But the second reason why that would happen a little bit is if we, let's say, straighten the left leg too early, so like we're gonna get with driver, it needs to happen at a different time. When that left leg straightens up early, again, we're gonna right side bend a little bit too early there because that's the movement that gets caused by that. And that will make you flip and swing a little bit out towards the right there. So that's why we want it to happen from shaft parallel into the golf ball here. So it also makes you hit the ball a little bit further. It uses a little bit of ground force going through that golf ball. So a little bit of vertical force there. Because if I am straightening that left leg coming up, going through the golf ball, I'm essentially doing almost like a mini vertical going up there, a mini vertical jump to some extent. That's why you see some of the tour players do this going through the golf ball. They're extending that left side, but they're pushing out that ground, which will do that. And they're spiking even more force out of the ground there. So think of it as when that left side is nice and bent and in kind of like a squatting position, that's what creates the power from the squat is really extending that left side, getting that power going in and then back out the ground again. So it will cause a little bit more power going through the shot there. So again, from shaft parallel into that golf ball is where we really want that left side to straighten. So an easy thought there, guys, is really to feel like left side, it's just straightening as you're going to hit that golf ball, you'll start turning through the golf ball, you'll start side bending at the right time. All these movements will start to happen naturally. So let's hit one.
So with a driver here, we have all the same benefits as we do with irons, but one more, and that one more is hitting up on the golf ball. So in order to do that, we actually need to straighten the left side earlier. So, because with irons, like we said, shaft parallel into the golf ball is perfectly fine. That won't affect your angle of attack at all, but we need it to affect our angle of attack because we want to hit more up on it. So what we do, go from left arm parallel to shaft parallel is ideally when I like to see for most players, so it can change from player to player, but for most of you, I wanna see that left side start to extend and straighten then. So that straightening of that left leg, that's gonna cause like we know, left side and the shoulder to go up and around by left side extension, cause the right side to drop a little bit earlier, which happens with driver. And that's gonna help the club move on the up there. So way more important with driver because if we keep it that trail leg or the lead leg sorry flexed for a little bit too long then we're really going to struggle to hit up on the golf ball so if we try to do it in the same time as irons we still might hit a little bit on the up but probably very level in all honesty there so really feel that left leg snapping as we're getting from really mid downswing in a nutshell. So let's feel that, really feel it snapping. If you really do extreme, you'll see the move that you see a lot of tour players do. This sliding backwards, you'll see that in my swing when we slow one down, you'll see my left foot really goes back there. That's me straightening that left side, really extending it and putting in that force. It's almost like I'm pushing out my toes backwards to some extent and that's gonna push me backwards. It's actually gonna open up my left side doing that as well. So let's do one here mid downswing we're going to start to straighten it here with driver it's going to help hit your hit it right on the up so a great drill to extend this lead side and straighten that left leg is with an alignment stick here so what we do with this drill is we set up and we have this stick really about kind of about a foot or so behind us. And we have it at about on our toe line here. So behind us by about a foot and on our toe line. So what we do from here, you can see this is kind of the area with irons where you'd start to extend that, that left leg there. So what we do here, we start to straighten that left leg as we're coming through here. I'm not really trying to drag this club and lift it up. I'm just letting that left leg straighten, left side extend, and that's going to get that last little bit of rotational move. And it's also going to start to elevate the stick out of the ground because of course, left side extending, left shoulder will raise up and it will turn, it turns me around the corner and then it's raising the stick up. I'm not trying to turn or anything here. I'm just trying to vertically straighten that left leg, almost push out the ground to some extent. I could add a little pushing element as well in there, pushing from my toes backwards. That could even add a little bit more power through there as well. So brilliant drill to do. Just have a little go at that and that's gonna really help you with this nice feeling. So guys, Really extend that left side, straighten up that left leg at the appropriate time, and you're gonna be playing a lot better. A lot of things you might already be trying to do in the downswing are gonna start to happen on their own. Not every single movement you see a professional or top player do in the golf swing are they actually trying to consciously do. A lot of it's happening because of other good movements happening in the golf swing. So, if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button course hit the bell button to be notified every time I put out a video so let's get that lead side extended straighten that left leg and you're going to be having a much better quality downswing